Okay, so the new Star Wars show is here, isn't it? The Acolyte has arrived on Disney+, Plus, and I'm not going to do a full review here. Um, I just want to give you some thoughts and feelings I had about it, and I'm kind of going to do this every week, do a little update on the Acolyte. Now, I think with this show, we're off to a flyer. Um, I think it's given us a lot of things that we haven't seen before, which... I appreciate can always kind of be dangerous territory with Star Wars fans. Looking at you, Princess Leia flying through space. Ooh, people didn't like that. But we saw some things that we didn't like uh, that we haven't seen before here, which I thought were pretty good, which I'm gonna go gonna go to in a moment. And we got a new era. Like this isn't during Empire, just pre-Empire, and you know the rise of Vader and all that, and post-Empire, which we got with the sequels. This is stuff that. Star Wars fans have been asking for for a long time. This is High Republic stuff. Now, there's obviously going to be a contingent out there who are like, but I wanted the Old Republic. You're getting a new era. This is a good time to be a Star Wars fan, in my opinion. Um, got a new era, a new presentation for the Jedi. In my opinion, mostly interesting new characters. Um, one or two really annoying ones. Like, really annoying characters, but that's par for the course at the moment with Star Wars, isn't it? You, you never get a f clean slate of just interesting characters. C'est la vie. Um, setting was interesting. I thought the decor of, of the, and the presentation of the Jedi was really interesting. And it presented to me a story which I thought was interesting enough, and this is obviously the hallmark of a, the beginning of the new show, was it interesting enough for me to want to tune in next week? Yes, it was. But with all that said... It hasn't got me at a fever pitch where I'm desperate and can't wait to see next week. And that leads to a, you know, a wider argument about the dilution of Star Wars. Star Wars and all of these big IPs are very much a question of less is more. You've seen it with Marvel. Argument to be made that you're seeing it a little bit with Lord of the Rings, with the Rings of Power. You're seeing it for sure with Star Wars. The more you give us, the less special it becomes. And... And giving us what seems to be pretty much every single year some new Star Wars. It's nice, but I'm just going to relate this to something that I had with my wife. Where I was like, hey, the new Star Wars show has dropped. Now, she's a diehard, hard, diehard Star Wars fan like I am. But she was like, yeah, okay. It wasn't like, oh my god, yes, let's put it on. That feeling we had when the first trailer for The Force Awakens came. That's a distant memory now. So there's definitely an argument to be made that... And this isn't a condemnation on the Acolyte, but there's an argument to be made that the product has been somewhat diluted just by having so much of it. It's not following the less is more formula. Um, but of the new things it presented, I I'm into them, you know? It, that opening scene in episode one, which is basically this Acolyte, this, this unknown assassin hunting a master Jedi and refusing to use weapons. That's not something I can really remember seeing. I may be wrong, but I can't remember seeing hand-to-hand -hand combat between an assassin and a Jedi in any shape or form in the, in the Star Wars world. And I liked it. You know, yes, we got the Jedi taking her lightsaber out, Carrie Ann Moss, but the assassin didn't respond accordingly. And I was like, that's kind of cool. Um, seeing things like where the ships were taking off from in in the Jedi Temple. Just that in itself isn't cool, but you're giving me an angle I haven't seen before. Um, it just took a load of things that I'm familiar with and kind of repackaged them, but not in a Princess Leia in space way where I'm questioning and going, wait a minute, this is a bridge too far for me to accept. In a way, it's like, huh, okay, haven't seen that before. I'm on board. I kind of dig that. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, yellow lightsabers. Cool. Uh, the, 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 uh, we've got more twins. <laughs> That's one of the negatives. I'm like, doesn't matter what era we're in, we can't seem to escape this, this twinism that exists in Star Wars. But to be honest, I, 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 look, the last thing I'm going to touch on before I end this is, I know for a fact there's going to be a contingent of people, the type of people who follow Nerd Rotic, well done to him and his million subscribers, toxic as hell they're they gonna call this out for being woke i don't see it that way but i know that people are gonna see the central cast being asian and black and there not being that many white characters if any in the main in the main crew and people are gonna 
get their little precious panties in a twist. You do you, man. Um, but yeah, for the contingent of Star Wars fans who hate the wokeness, yeah, this is going to bug you. Um, I don't really care about that. I care about the setting, which I like. I care about the story, which has got me intrigued enough that I want to tune in next week, but hasn't got me, the whole series so far hasn't got me pumped in a way that I'm like, must watch TV. I have to tune in next week. It's unmissable. Yeah, I'm not there yet. That can change. But as of right now, episodes one and two of The Acolyte, I liked it. Most of this stuff I like. There hasn't really been anything glaring that's made me go, oh, this is going to be trash. I like it. Roll on next week. I want to know what you guys thought. Did you like this first episode? What do you think of the new characters, the setting? Let me know your thoughts in your comments down below. Um, if you want to see another video from this guy right here on the Silver Screen Dudes, there's another video up there for you to watch. There's a subscribe button right here, so please go ahead and do all that goodness. And I'll probably see you tomorrow for a new movie review, so stay tuned to the channel and check that out. And uh, yeah, keep it right here on the Silver Screen Dudes. Bye for now.